Well, most coaches break down the year into three different seasons, the non-conference, the conference, and then where we're at now, the postseason. Ayersville's volleyball team enters that third season tonight in a district opener versus North Central. The winner advances to next Monday night. They'll take on top-seeded Pettisville. The loser packs up their gear for another year. Welcome aboard, everybody. Brent Balbinot saying thank you for joining us. DC TV Sports and the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show is on the air. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac located on North Clinton Street in Defiance, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Visit them in person or online at drivebobestel.com. The Pilots, a situation where it would have been would have, could have, should have for many, roughly a third of their schedule this season, but having dropped five set matches five times this year. Overall, they finished up at 9-13. and 13. They finished up in the GMC at 3-4. and four. On the flip side for North Central, they snapped the four-game losing streak in their regular season finale with a three sets to one win versus Cardinal Stritch. They are 8-15 and 15 overall, also 3-4 and four in conference play. They play out of the Buckeye Border Conference. You take a look at all of that now, and both coaches will tell you it doesn't matter. Everybody hits the reset button at this time of the year. Everybody is 0-0. Somebody will be 1-0 and making plans to play next week in about two hours. I had a chance to stop out at an Ayersville practice earlier this week and talk with the head coach, Taven Tyler. Our player profile will be second team all GMC, 5'10 outside hitter, Grace Flory. We'll start with Coach Tyler, though, when we come back. Don't you go anywhere. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues on DC TV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Welcome back. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac located on North Clinton Street in Defiance, or you can check out their selection online at drivebobestel.com. Well, most coaches break down a season into three different compartments. You're going to have your non-conference portion of the season. You're going to have your conference portion of the season, in this case, the GMC. And then where we are now, the final season, the postseason, the playoffs. It is time for Ayersville Volleyball and their district opener as they take on North Central. Coach Tyler joining us right now. Brent Balbinot saying thank you for joining us. Coach, before we preview, let's recap. You okay with that? Yep. Fantastic. We always love her because she is agreeable <laughs> to just pretty much anything we ask. Uh, I'm looking at the better part of a week off to practice. It's been a while since your regular season finale. Another tough five-set loss, 3-2 uh, mm -hmm. to two, to Wayne Trace. But with that said, you've got a little bit of extra time for preparation for the opener of the playoffs. How have you used that time? 
Oh yeah, definitely. Um, starting off strong on Monday, I gave them after season, I gave them that Friday off and then starting off strong on Monday, we went in, I kind of had a game plan of North Central watching them and then um, kind of relayed that to the girls and then continued to excel on what we do best and continuing working on what we need to work on, what we need to focus on, finding those open spots on the other side of the court. I'm glad you mentioned it because you can see right here was my next <laughs> question. Another day to practice mm -hmm. is another day to improve. What have you been working on? We've been working out of system. We've been working on serve, serve, receive. That's the name of the game. So we definitely want to keep that strong. Um, definitely out of system. Working on finding those open spots and just continuing our overall gameplay. It's almost like she took a sneak peek at my notepad <laughs> here because I've got it right here. In system, we talk about constantly. You hear that phrase quite a bit. That means good first touch off the serve, off the receive, excuse me. And then your setter in a perfect world doesn't even have to move. Everything just fires on all cylinders. You will run out of system. You have to. Walk us through that. It's not as if your offense just comes to a grinding halt mm -hmm. if you're out of system, but how is your offense supposed to operate out of system? Yeah, so obviously every coach wants a lot of in-system, but no matter what, you are going to get out of system plays. And so we try to excel on that as much as possible. So whether that is um, most times they will hit to our um, setter and then our middle back will take that and then set up one of our wings. That way we can get something running. We constantly are working on that to try to perfect that game because that happens more just like in system happens as well. I don't want to say everybody has to be ready to potentially be a setter. Mm -hmm. But like you said, if somebody's taking your setter out of a play, especially off the first serve, who is the next person in line in the offense when you're out of system? So after the setter gets it, then our next in line would be middle back, which most times would be Michaela, our libero. And then she would be able to pass it to the wings, whether that's an outside hitter or a right side hitter. Michaela's kind of a junkyard dog. She's <laughs> everywhere. She does a little bit of everything. I've seen her in practice. I saw her in practice today when you were running out of system. Mm -hmm. She doesn't seem to have a problem with that. She wraps both nope. arms around it. Yep. How good is yep. she? She can get the ball where it needs to go. She knows and sees the court very well. So she is able to place the ball where we need it to be placed, especially out of system. Let's go ahead and talk about tonight's opponent, North Central, sub 500 at 8 and 15. But as you and I talked about, Everybody is O and O mm -hmm. at this time of the year. They actually snapped, I think it was a four game losing streak in their regular season finale with a win against Cardinal Stritch. So, you know, they've got a little bit of wind in their sails. Mm -hmm. Break this team down for us. So, as watching their film, they're a lot like us. They're quick on defense, they're ready to move, they can have some good swings as well. Um, the main thing I want to focus on is our gameplay. Obviously, a team changes overnight. One day they might be great, another day maybe some things might not go their way. So mainly try to work on what we can control on our side. Keys for a pilot win tonight. So we're going to have to go in hard, ready to win. Start off strong. Don't start off, get in a hole. It takes a lot for us to get out of a hole. So start off strong, get the energy up, and continue to play our game. If Maybe we make an error here, there, let it go, continue to play our game. All right. Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Coach Tyler joining us. We're going to take a quick time out. We are back with more of the Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. You're watching DCTV Sports. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestill.com. Welcome back. The Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues. It is postseason volleyball time now as Ayersville 
playing for the right to wear the uniform one more time. They're opening round against North Central. Brent Balbanon saying thank you very much for joining us. It is our player profile. As a matter of fact, this is a red letter day because it's the first time we've had her on. Grace Flory, now I'm going to ask you if the roster is correct because I've been going off the roster and then asking, I think it was maybe way back in our first broadcast, I actually had to come down and ask the players, hey, how tall are you? Yeah. Because none of the heights were listed, so I took you at your word, 5'10". Yes, that's correct. Is the correct. roster accurate? Fantastic. She is a junior, and she is, I don't want to say the heart and soul, but anytime pilot volleyball is successful, you're hearing us call her name. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at your stats this season. 233 kills. That's number one on the roster. You also know how to serve. Just under 88% as far as the starters are concerned, that's good for number three. You didn't just all of a sudden become a great volleyball player. So I'm going to ask you to rewind before we preview. You okay with okay, that? Okay, yes. I want you to go all the way back to your freshman season. Okay. Remember the first time you set foot on the volleyball court. Do you remember who it was against? Yes. Yes. Who was it? Delta. Delta. Yes. And did the world seem like it was moving at 100 miles an hour at that time? I definitely <laughs> was super nervous. You know, um, Coach Alicia back then, my freshman year, she put me on varsity. Like, she didn't put me on varsity at the start of the season. Like, um, I was in a couple scrimmages with JV and stuff. And um, then coming up a couple days before season actually started, like games and stuff, she uh, put me up on varsity and uh, basically said that I needed to just play my game and do my best and stuff. So I guess that was definitely nerve wracking coming into it. And um, I remember uh, I wasn't starting at then and I was sitting on the bench and I was ready to go in and I was so nervous but so excited at the same time. And when I just got on that court, I felt like, oh, seriously, the world was Big like, rush. yes, the world was moving so fast. I just played my game. <laughs> All right, so let's rewind to last year. Okay. Okay, as a junior, obviously you saw some time, but there were a couple of college level teammates that were getting the bulk of the time, the bulk yes. of the, uh, the attack opportunities. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting ready for your senior year. They're graduated. It's your time to shine. What did the coaching staff tell you they wanted your role to be? They just wanted me to pick up as a leader, you know, um, Taylor Waldron and Taylor Kraft last year as seniors, they were the leaders on the court. They knew where to put the spots for other people. They knew what was happening at all times. So I just want to pick up that role again and become that leader who can tell everybody. Just Well, it's paid off 233 kills. <laughs> How long did it take you, not just with the setter, but really as a group, because you were a brand new team in all mm -hmm. effects coming into this year to kind of develop that chemistry? Well, I mean, we're all juniors. Most of our team is juniors. <laughs> and um, we, I guess we've played together for so many years and I guess we know how to play with each other. I, there wasn't, I mean, there was a lot of building up in the summer. Like we played a lot of tournaments together just to get us ready for that. And I don't know, I think it really helped out because our chemistry on this team is amazing. Like this is the closest I've ever been with the team before in my life. Well, it shows in the style of offense that you run. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to think, you don't run the slide very often though, do you? No, I'm not, I don't hit More middle very the, often. I was going to say, I've seen you off of quick sets. We've seen it obviously, this offense runs from pin to pin. Do you have a favorite as far as plays or style? Um, definitely, I like running goes and heading down the line <laughs> when I can. But sometimes when that line shot isn't available, I swing sharp cross and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> She's got multiple facets to her game, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about this team as a whole. Uh, we talked with Coach earlier uh, in our pregame. It's that point in time of the year now where you hit the postseason. Mm -hmm. You're playing for the right to wear the uniform one more time every time you step onto the court. Everybody's 0-0. Mm -hmm. What's this team's mindset right now? Just simply to play as a team, seriously. Like, I feel like most of the times, like on all of our like five set losses, those big losses, I feel like we would play together as a team, play super good, and then I think we would get in our heads and we'd stop playing as a team, we'd stop talking. Communication is key. That has to be a part of every volleyball team every single time to achieve what you want to achieve. And I feel like we just need to have that high communication and really just work together. 
Here's to communicating and working well together tonight. Good luck to you. Thank you. Grace Flory is our player profile. We're going to take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll have the keys to the game and the starting lineups. Don't you go anywhere. You're watching the Estelle Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show on DCTV Sports. Estelle Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estelle Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues as we welcome you back live to Pets <laughs> Pettisville. We were joking up in the uh, stands here. It's not in the middle of nowhere, but it is right across the road from it. It was packed here earlier as Pettisville needed four sets to knock off Stryker, but the number one seed in this sectional is advanced to Archibald on Monday night. The winner of this match will be laying in wait for them. It is the number four seed. Defiance taking on the number six seed, North Central. Let's go ahead and give you the keys to the game, brought to you by Northwest State Community College. Northwest State Community College, your key to great career opportunities, begins with a great education at Northwest State. Visit northweststate.edu or call 419-267-1320 today. Let's go ahead and start with the Pilots. Again, the Pilots, the number four seed, but uh, you just heard about a minute ago uh, Coach Tyler talked about it. Strong serving. They've been getting better with each passing week. They're going to need to continue that tonight. Second, cover the court. They ran an unorthodox blocking um, regimen Thursday night, and it was designed specifically to get the center of the court covered. Communication, knowing where you're supposed to be. And then again, work pin to pin. Grace Flory, second team all-conference, enters tonight with 233 kills but she cannot be a one-woman wrecking crew. They need to get everyone involved. On the flip side for North Central, again, they come in having snapped the four-game losing streak in their regular season finale with a 3-1 win over Cardinal Stritch. No freebies, no service errors, no unforced errors. Try to stay in system as much as possible. Any free points are going to be gifts. Also, quick termination. Again, Coach Caitlin Walker, talk to me about that. They are not built to win long, drawn-out rallies. They want to get in system, stay in system, and make every point quick as possible. And then they're going to double-team Grace Flory. Uh, she's going to have at least two sets of hands in her face all night long, the thought process being somebody else is going to have to step up and beat us. So those are your keys to the game. Brought to you by Northwest State Community College. Your key to a great career opportunity begins with a great education at Northwest State. Visit northweststate.edu or give them a call at 419-267-1320 today. Let's go ahead and give you the starting lineups. Brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. Baker Schindler Company proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding. Baker-Schindler.com. We'll bring them up. Let's go ahead and bring up Ayersville's first, if you would. And again, no real surprises here. Ryland Beecher, honorable mention, middle hitter. Getting the starting nod in the uh, middle, obviously. On the right side, it'll be Kendra Waldron, the 5'6", junior, 96 kills on this season. Grace Flory, our player profile, as we mentioned, second team all-conference, 233 kills, but she also gets it done defensively, 147 digs on the season. Your setter, Allison Eldridge, the 5'5", junior, 585 tallies. She's serving at 93% and leads the team with 37 aces. Laney Sheets will be your other outside hitter, 50 kills on the season, 250 digs. And then your libero, we kind of called her a jack of all trades, but she's a windmill in a tornado, covers a ton of court. She's also going to have to be the backup setter as she is Michaela Laker Sierra. 5'6", Santa Junior, 464 digs and 30 aces on the season. On the flip side, for the Eagles of North Central, Kaylin Myers, 
Again, a junior, 199 kills, 241 digs, 217 assists, and she's the setter. That is asking a lot of basically your quarterback on the offense. Anna Burt also doubles as a center and plays out on the back row. She's got 266 assists on the season. Emily Hallstein, 5'8 freshman, opposite side with 75 kills. Riley Walker in the middle. What a tremendous story this young lady is, and we'll give you more detail as this game wears along. A serious car accident about this time last year. Was unable to finish up the season. Uh, we'll, we'll give you more detail, but great to see her back on the court. 130 kills, 114 blocks. Same with Kaitlyn Myers. Uh, she was in a bad car accident as well with Riley Walker, so good to see both of them on the floor this season. Mia Lawson is your defensive specialist. Maddie Zimmerman is your libero. 460 digs on the season. And then at the opposite side, it will be Kenzie Hickman. 44 kills, serving at 92%. Time now for our national anthem, brought to you by the Defiance Veterans County. Pardon me, the Defiance County Veterans Office. National Anthem in the books. Our thanks to our underwriter, the Defiance County Veterans Office. Proud to support local veterans and their families and connect them with the resources available to them. The Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show is in the books. We are getting started considerably later than anticipated. This was supposed to be a 7.30 first serve, but that first match between Pettisville and Stryker, they had a little fight in them. It went much longer than anticipated. It was four sets. So we're getting started about 45 minutes later than we uh, were originally scheduled. Part of that is you've got to stay mentally focused. You've got to stay sharp. It's easy to maybe lose a little bit of your attention span, especially playing much later than anticipated. You get a little antsy. The non-starters being introduced for North Central. Coach Caitlin Walker had a long chat with Herb earlier this evening. A team that has struggled in tight matches and saying that even though their record is eight and 15, it could easily be reversed. Likewise, Ayersville could say the same thing at nine and 13. 0 for 5 in five set matches this season. They have dropped four of their last five. Their regular season finale was another tough five set loss to Wayne Trace, three sets to two. All of that gets kicked to the curb here this evening. Postseason, everybody is 0 and 0. Non-starters being introduced. A lot of these are underclassmen, and the starter's about to be introduced here. The winner of this match will take on top-seeded Pettisville again Monday night at Archbold. It'll be a 6 o'clock first serve. Should Ayersville win, we will be there as well.
All right, the pregame obligations are now in the books. Time for what everybody came here for. First serve. There you saw maybe off to the right side there, both head coaches shaking hands. Coach Taven Tyler for Ayersville. And Caitlin Walker for North Central, both proud alum of their respective schools and programs. And there you take a look at the pilots huddling up. Time to get locked in if you weren't already. A little bit lighter crowd. The place was absolutely packed for the first match. We're glad you were able to join us here tonight on DCTV Sports. <laughs> They've got it taken care of. Time to get it started. Waiting for the official's whistle. Well, they're switching out Brooklyn Michael for Michaela Laker Sierra. And the pilots will serve. Allison Eldridge will do the honors. And we're finally underway. Far pin. Nice job by Sierra on the up out of the back row. This one dinked over by Flory. This is going to be tough. And I'm not quite sure how they saved that. I thought at least an antenna violation was coming there. Instead, Flory terminates. And the pilots on the board first. Good low serve, bottom drops out of it. Make it 2 nothing. Long bump, and a burp bumps it up. And the pilot should get something in system here. Try to beat her. Just quite mistimed that, and mistimed here. Miscommunication in the front row for North Central. And Coach Walker not happy with that. Eldridge with three straight to open up the set. Again, the bottom dies out of that one. Zimmerman finally gets down on it. And a much needed side out for the Eagles. So we're going to have actually a violation. So make it four in a row. Eldridge staying focused. Very short serve. Flying in. This one dinked over by Myers. Beecher sends over a free ball. Zimmerman's there. Quick set. Sheets right where she needs to be. They'll set Flory far pin. Zimmerman with a nice up. Back set. Cross court. Eldridge is there. Sheets the lefty, and that's going to be a violation. One too many contacts. So after opening up with four straight, side out four. North Central and Anna Burt will do the honor. She serves at 90%. I don't believe in the broadcaster's jinx, but service error gives it right back to the pilots. Ryland Beecher. Talk about a Swiss Army knife. 109 kills, 28 blocks, 292 digs and serves at nearly 98%. Honorable mention, all GMC. Off the quick set, that will sail wide. Pounds the ball into the court, gets the whistle. A little bit deeper of a serve. Coming out of the back row, wow. That was off the 10-foot mark, and really a good angle by Myers. Mia Lawson out. Mallory Groves will check in. Sophomore with 50 kills to her own credit on the season. And another service error. They've had it twice, and they haven't been able to clear the tape. 
Grace Flory, our player profile, was all smiles. And you can be when you're second team all conference. Zimmerman steps up, gets her platform out off the quick set. Long run, bumped by Eldridge, and Waldron will tap it over. In system, near pin. Groves, though, couldn't terminate. They're going to back set to the far pin. The block is there a second time. Waldron went up. Michael went up. Didn't come back. Make it 8-2. Flory will go down the far side, and that rolled right up the platform of Martha Cruz. On the dump, well played. And timeout being called by Coach Walker. We're going to take a Mark Motes Ford timeout as well. Mark Motes Ford serving the area since 1916, located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Pilots up early, 8-2, you're watching DCTV Sports. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. First set, second match of the night. Girls Division 7, sectional volleyball taking place at Pettisville. Number four seed, Ayersville, taking on six seeded North Central. Three straight off the serve of Grace Flory. And the Pilots have a nine to two lead. Timeout being called by Coach Caitlin Walker trying to slow down the momentum. Flory trying to stay locked in. Puts a fist into it and a service error. Well, they've had the serve twice before this, and they've had two service errors. Riley Walker, coach's daughter, clears the tape for the first time off their serve. This should be in system. Laney Sheets, the lefty coming from the right side. It pays to have a southpaw with the termination, smiles, and then quickly gets back into position. Going deep, Zimmerman. Can they do something with it? Sierra's there. This is a tough set, and they'll have to send over a free ball. And winning the joust, Michael. Brooklyn Michael came in with 61 blocks on the season. That was not a block, but give her credit for the kill. Make it 11 3. Low serve. Zimmerman had to drop to her knees. Speaking from her knees, Mallory Globe's foot and gave out. Off the quick set, and Michael with the termination. Ayersville. In system, making quick points. Sheets serving at 84% on the season. And back Zimmerman up. This will come out of the back row. Combo play, Waldron stuffed. Oh, nice job by Beecher from her knees. And miscommunication between Eldridge and Sheets. They were both there, and they collide with each other. Myers with a good deep serve. Waldron from the near pin. They work her on the right side. They'll set Groves up, and this will come out of the back row. Sheets deep. And look at this, trick or treat, the libero having to go on the aggressive as Waldron gets a good set. Cross court. Nice cut. Zimmerman going over to talk to Coach Caitlin Walker, and I think maybe she got cowed out of position early, and that's why she ended up having to be set out of the back row. As Waldron to serve, Cruz with a good up. Quick set, very well run. And wasn't sure if that ball might have been carried. 
Ayersville looking up at the official, but it will be Point North Central. Crews out, Hickman in. Low service is going to be a long run. Eldridge almost went face first into the scorer's table. That'll be a service ace, a Premier Bank service ace. Banking features that fit your unique lifestyle, yourpremierbank.com. And that one just shanked off the heel of her wrist. And Mallory Grove shakes her head. Mia Lawson in for him. As Michaela Licker Sierra. Good deep serve. Quick set. Sierra's there in system. Eldridge. Beecher. Meyer sets back. And again, there's Sierra. Flory and Waldron collide. And Waldron says, my bad. Miscommunication for the second time. And a rally here makes it a side out. Zimmerman back to serve. Top spin on it. Eldridge. They're going to run the slide play for Beecher, and she puts it away. So after rolling off four straight to open up the match, Eldridge back at the service line again. Good deep serve. Back Zimmerman up. Meyer sets. Whoa, what a nice up. Play kept alive. I think North Central stopped because they thought they had that point one and out of the back row again. Another attack from Zimmerman. Beecher. Almost a great up by Zimmerman, but Beecher again starting to find her rhythm. Eldridge goes to the far side. Myers with a back set. Waldron lays out. Oh, nice dump over by Eldridge. Second time in this set. Great presence. And timeout being called by Coach Walker. Ayersville up by 10, 17 7. We'll take another Mark Motes Ford timeout back after this on DC TV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance and online at drivebobestel.com. Back at Pettisville High School Gymnasium, home of the Blackbirds, one of the more unique mascots that you're going to find anywhere. Right now, though, it's the Pilots leading the Eagles. Second match tonight, girls' sectional volleyball. Winner advances to Monday night at Archbold to take on Pettisville. Right now, the number four seed, Ayersville Pilots up by 10. Ball might have been sailing long, but Sierra will play it. Ball clips the tape. Zimmerman's there. They're going to set Kenzie Hickman on the near side, and it's out of bounds off the block. And for the small but vocal crowd for the Eagles that came, they finally have something to cheer about. Burt with the jump serve. In system. They'll set Flory far pin, puts it away. Makes a difference when you get a good first touch. Serve received so important. As Addison Zartman checks in for Ayersville, back to serve. Feature. Good low serve laying out. Nice job by Lawson to keep it alive. Ayersville will get a freebie. Eldridge will set far pin. Flory, that'll say along. The only question was it out of bounds off the block? It was not. Mallory Groves will check in for North Central. Lawson takes a seat. 
Kenzie Hickman, one of several freshmen on this roster back to serve. Eldridge working to Flory. That's just too tough. Waldron about to check back in. Kelsey Clark will check out. Glory waiting for the whistle, about to put a fist into it. Good serve, almost a collision in the back row. And the setter taken out of the play, and Beecher will send over a freebie. Back set. Long Myers. They got what they wanted, just couldn't execute. Oh. Shank, Dan. <laughs> Flory just bites her lower lip. Nothing she can say there. Sheets will check back in. Zartman will grab a seat on the bench. Lollipop serve. A little bit of a run for Eldridge. They'll set Sheets near side and off the block. They were a little late to rotate. 21-10. Now just four points away from taking a convincing set number one. We'll see if Sheets can serve it out. Spins the ball in her hand. Good low line drive serve. Block is there again, Brooklyn Michael. Good deep serve, and that's off the platform of Martha Cruz. Cruz is not exactly the tallest player at just 5'3", and she got caught in no man's land. 23-10. Nice job by Zimmerman to step up, making the adjustment off the quick set. And a quick termination there by Emmy Holstein. Back to serve. This will be the red-headed Kaylin Myers. Wanted everybody to know that she's the class president with a perfect 4.0 GPA. High looping serve, and this one sails long. So Kendra Waldron will have the honors here with 13 set points. It is... The Stambaugh Jewelers set point and fitting that Brooklyn Michael on the block. She came in with 61 on the season. She has three in set number one, and it's a convincing 25-11 win for the Pilots as they take set number one. We'll take a Mark Motes forward timeout. Back with set number two, you're watching DCTV Sports. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org.
For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Second set action about to get underway here at Pettisville High School. Brent Balbinot saying thank you for joining us on DC TV Sports tonight. We got started a little later, actually a lot later than originally scheduled. This one was scheduled for a 7.30 first serve. It got underway at about 8.15. Top-seeded Pettisville got uh, a push from eight-seeded striker, but advanced in four sets. Four-seeded Ayersville taking on six-seeded North Central. Pilots win the first set, 25-11. Flory, boy, just unloads. She's got a hammer. Myers off the bump and nicely played at the net. Another joust won by the Pilots. And here is Eldridge. This one pushed over by Anna Burke. Eldridge will set near pin and a miss hit by Laney Sheets. Back to serve Anna Burt, 5'6 sophomore. High deep serve. Eldridge will set far pin. Flory moving towards it. That is when you know Ayersville's offense is clicking on all cylinders. Waldron will check out. Addison Zartman will check in. Six foot senior. Back to serve, Rylan Beecher. Oh, tough first touch, and nothing that they can do with that. That just got shanked off the platform of Mia Lawson. Beecher alters her serve, goes cross court, and miscommunication, and still somehow. Dinked over by Kaylin Myers. She made something out of nothing. Kenzie Hickman. Freshman with a good jump serve. Beecher had a little trouble with it. They're going to set Flory near pin, and we got a net violation. So Waldron and Michael checking back in. Clark and Zartman waiting for the officials okay. So you got Beecher, Zartman, Waldron up in that front row right now. Dink Dover. Michael almost got the block. Waldron almost at the 10 foot mark. And they'll set Groves near pin and the clock's there again. Boy, the middle, I'm not sure how much more North Central wants to try and test it tonight. It has not been successful for them. Flory with the bump, Eldridge will go far pin. Waldron unloads. Another violation. Flory trots back. Grace Flory, 5'10 and a junior. Low serve and give her an ace, a premier bank ace. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle, yourpremierbank.com. Three straight off the service of Flory. Almost another ace. Quick set, and that will sail into the stands. North Central was desperate for a side out. They got one. Riley Walker, the 5'8 junior. 
talked a little bit about her during the pregame. Terrible injury in a car accident last season. Uh, she gets a huge Premier Bank ace here, trying to scratch and claw her way back into it. Broken pelvis. Missed a good bulk of the season. Spent a lot of time, as you can imagine, rehabbing. And just fortunate to be back on the court. Tremendous story. Sierra. They're going to get Michael going toward the pin. Kept alive. North Central thought they had it won. Emma Holstein was celebrating early. Bumped up and up. Michael lost sight of the ball. Had she known where it was, I think she would have gone up and challenged. And two straight. Off of North Central service for the first time tonight. Let's see if Riley Walker can make it three. Good low serve. Nice up by Sierra. They'll have to send over a free ball. Setting to the near side. Groves taps it over. Eldridge in system. Off the quick set. Kept alive. Wow, what an up. Sheets near pin. Cruz, and I think we got double contact. Yep. So 8-5, Sheets back to serve. Good deep serve, Cruz. Back set, this is going to be a long run for Myers, and out of bounds off the block. Myers will go back to serve. Myers, a multi-sport athlete. Basketball, softball. Eldridge sets up Waldron. Give her the kill. And after she gets the kill, she's back to serve with her club up by three. Boy, laser serve. Oh, nice up by Sheets. Beecher, can she do anything with it? Zimmerman's there. Off the dump. Almost a collision in the back row. Waldron moving towards the net. Nice block by Holstein. Beecher with the dink. Out of system, but can they do something with it? Sierra's there. Michael, oh, feathery touch. It's not always how hard you hit it, but where you put it. And that was just a nice piece of finesse. High and deep and too much. 10-7, a much tighter set than we saw in set number one. Maybe a little bit of the jitters out of the way for North Central. Pilot's still up by three. Grove spins the ball in her hands. Uh-oh, tough first touch. Can anybody get there? We got ourselves another Premier Bank service ace this time for North Central. Groves. This time goes at Sierra. Perfect pass. Beecher right into the midriff of Zimmerman. They'll set far pin and a miss hit. Ayersville gets the side out there looking for. And Sierra back to serve. Michaela Laker Sierra. 80% at the service line this season. Wow, that was just a really nice piece of setting there by Kaylin Myers. Got the middle to bite. And then the termination. And North Central hanging around here in set number two as Maddie Zimmerman will try and chip into a two-point deficit. Waldron, good first touch. Flory, out of bounds off the block. More specifically off the back row. And Mia Lawson. Eldridge comes across court. Myers will set far pin. Burt, little pinball, and nobody can save it for Ayersville. Well, at this point at 12-10, you get the feeling that a team that can even put four, maybe five points together is going to have the clear advantage in this set. 
I wouldn't say a couple of heavyweights, more like a couple of bantamweights right now, just kind of keeping the jab in each other's faces. As Flory gets a little help from the tape. Brandon Beecher will see if she can't get something going off her serve. Bottom falls out of that. We'll set Walker in the middle. Eldridge, Flory. Oh, excellent placement. And that looked like an adjustment almost mid-swing. She had everybody th thinking she was going cross-court. And then swung those shoulders around. Beecher goes deep again. A little confusion in that back row. This is going to be a long run. Myers trying to make something out of nothing, but as always, the junkyard dog, Sierra's there, and Flory, the beneficiary. Beecher gets the whistle. We'll try and make it three straight off of her serve. This time a better job of Lawson coming up. I'll set Myers. Sierra's got it. Can Flory make something out of this? Zimmerman, Johnny on the spot. Backs at Myers. The block is there. Playing pinball with it. Pilots keep it alive. Quick set. This time put away by Riley Walker. 15-11. Lawson out, Groves in. Hickman back to serve. Boy, very low. Nice up, though, by Flory. They're going to set Myers far pin, and she takes care of business. The Eagles hanging around here in set number two. Have yet to lead. Hickman with another jump serve. Clark puts a fist into it. Zimmerman out of the back row, off the quick set again. Eldridge will set far side. Block is there, but we play on. Third time the charm for Clark. Out of bounds, off the block. I'm looking at Coach Galen Walker, and she winces. But a change in call not forthcoming. Pilots back up by four is Grace, Grace Flory. Quick set, dinked over. Quick hands by Zartman there. They'll set. Michael puts it down. Brooklyn Michael. I believe we're going to have another timeout by North Central. So they're down by five, and Coach Walker feeling like the wind might be slipping out of their sails a bit. We'll take a 30-second timeout, a Mark Motes Ford timeout on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Ayersville up one set to nothing and 17-12 in set number two back after this on DCTV Sports. Discover top-quality health care education at Northwest State. Our instructors have real-world experience, so they know how to prepare you for great career opportunities. Northwest State, where you'll get the top quality healthcare education you need to succeed. Buzzer sounds after that North Central timeout, Ayersville. Up by five and one set to nothing. And Grace Flory waiting to serve. Boy, she backed Zimmerman way up. And this will have to come out of the back row, and nothing's coming out of the back row as Mallory Groves just plain mistimes it. 18-12. Can Flory come up with that run of four or five points that we were talking about earlier? Zimmerman. Walker tries to go cross court on a tough cut out of the back row floor, but cruises there. Trying to go cross court is Myers, and I think we got a yep. antenna violation. 
So 19-12. LaFleury with a zip there. Set to the middle and late recognizing. So they'll have to be satisfied with two points off the service of Grace Flory. Sheets will check in. Zartman will check out. With the pilots up by six. Walker goes cross court. That was a tough touch by Beecher, and Clark can't do much with this. Again, another tough touch, though, off the platform of Burt. That one shot put over. Trying to get something in system, and Michael with the put away. Well, what an angle. That was a cut. Waldron in. Clark heads over to the bench. Ayersville, the first to 20. It's become a five-point set here. Can Laney Sheets take care of business? Well, trying to take advantage of the tape. Ayersville will get a freebie. Combo play. Waldron with the termination. Another good low serve, and Cruz just couldn't do anything with that. Another premier bank ace. 22-13, substitution as Cruz will come out. Hickman in. Sheets goes cross-court at Zimmerman. Off the dump. Ayersville should get something to work with. Waldron sends it just wide. Myers, high lollipop serve. It's got a lot of spin on it. Michael moving towards the net. Nice up by Myers, Walker. Oh, Peacher somehow gets a hand on it. Can Waldron do anything with it? In system, Sierra's there. Oh, nice dump by Eldridge. What an up by Zimmerman. Number 15, Maddie Zimmerman. Didn't terminate, but give her credit for that point. Everybody, including up here in the top row, thought Ayersville had that. And Zimmerman laid out. Myers goes high and deep. Off the quick set. Waldron. Give her another kill. And now the junior will try and serve it out. Short serve. Zimmerman, can they save this? Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, that ball might have been going out. Who wants to play in system? Who wants to just put their hands on the volleyball right now? Little helter-skelter. And here's where we'll try and flush it. Grove smacks the ball in her hands. High deep serve. Michael with the dink. Zimmerman laid out that time but couldn't replicate the gymnastics that she did a couple points ago. And now it's set point. Stanbaugh Jewelers set point. For Ayersville to go up two sets to nothing. Laker Sierra will try and get the job done here. Clips the tape. And how about doing so <laughs> with a Premier Bank ace. Well, it wasn't exactly orthodox, but they took care of business. 25-11 in first set, 25-16 in set number two. Pilots will go for the sweep when we come back. We'll take a Mark Motes forward timeout. Back with more from Pettisville. You're watching DCTV Sports. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. 
Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding. 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. Back at Pettisville High School, we get set for set number three. Ayersville taking the first two in convincing fashion. 25-11 in set one, 25-16 in set number two. They'll go for the sweep over North Central here, and if they can do so, they will advance to Monday night's next round. Game will be played at Archbold against top-seeded Pettisville. Eldridge will do the honors to open up set number three. Almost got herself an ace. Can her teammates do something in system here? Flory. Zimmerman. Oh, what a nice job at the net on the joust by Laney Sheets. Good aggressive play. Eldridge, an excellent server at 93%. 37 aces on the season. They'll set far pin. Sierra's there. Eldridge with a long run, but they'll set near pin for Sheets. Myers. And they'll have to go to the barrel again out of the back row. Flory unloads the hammer. Walker. Good rally. Flory. Again, nice job out of the back row. Long run. Whoops. Almost a collision between Waldron and Flory. All right, a freebie. Can they do something with it? Eldridge on the dump. That's just a heads-up play. In a set far pin, Walker. And again, tracked down by Sierra. Sheets couldn't do much with it, but again, found no man's land. Eldridge sets feature. Walker unloads. Eldridge with the back set. Sheets just long. It was the right idea. Just missed. Flory, and that will find the bleachers. Hey, special guest appearance. You don't have, well, I was going to say, you can sit up on the top row if you want. 
All right. Yep. Number two, please. All right. Coach Beck throwing on a headset here. Bring your mic up just a little bit more. I want to actually be able to hear you. Because I've been told that she's not only informative, but entertaining at the same time. <laughs> first things first, congratulations, Thank Coach. you. Thanks. Got a little bit of a push. Uh, one of those situations where, and again, I know we talk about it, and it sounds cliche-ish, but when you hit the, the second season, so to speak, everybody's 0-0. Yeah, And absolutely. I don't want to say Stryker was playing with house money, but they came in playing free and easy and uh, yeah. gave you a push. Was that a good thing for your team? Yeah. Stryker's a great team. I mean, we I knew we were going to um, battle with them. It's our third time to play them, and, you know, people tell you you can't beat a team three times, but we uh, proved people wrong, didn't we? Hogwash, I think, is what, what my grandfather used to <laughs> say about right. that kind of stuff. What were you most impressed with for your team's performance tonight? Um, you know, I think most, most of all, our team just has this uh, play-to-win attitude. It's not a uh, play not to lose. We've talked a lot this year about <laughs> play-to-win, and uh, they definitely do well with that. One of the things that I really noticed, and again, I'm pulling out your, drinking out of a fire hose here, but uh, uh, Olivia Miller in the middle is as physical, a middle block slash middle hitter. She kind of does both, yeah. I guess, depending on the need. But can you just talk about not only her performance, but her improvement from last year to this yeah, year? Yeah, last year she did a lot of pushes and tips, and this year she's just really picked up how to kill the ball. And she goes for the spots on the court. She looks at the other side. She does a great job reading her opponent, um, looks for the kill. So we're looking at a 6-2 score here, keeping one eye on this one. As off the quick set, Myers and out of bounds off the block here. Obviously here to scout, you're going to play one of these two teams, barring something completely unforeseen. It's going to be Ayersville here. What do you see from the pilots that impresses you? Uh, Ayersville is super scrappy, and of course they have some um, tall blockers, you know, <laughs> strong yes. hitters. Um, so we're just going to have to be super smart at the net. Now I was going to say that because you're going to have best on best here. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be the irresistible force versus the immovable object, or I guess technically depending on who's on offense, yes. But uh, you can't be afraid to test the middle, though, Correct. too, can you? No, we cannot be afraid to test the middle for sure, but we do have to be aware that um, there's some giants there for Ayersville. <laughs> Long run for Eldridge. The setter's out of the play, and Flory doesn't seem to matter one bit. Second team all GMC and just kind of playing free and easy almost with house money right now, up yeah. two sets to nothing. Um, so walk us through this because I know you want depth. I was talking to a couple of uh, the administrators here, and in watching that first match, you worked pin to pin. Can yeah. You, without giving away the game plan, obviously. Mm -hmm. Give us a, a little bit of an idea for those that will be watching on Monday night. What's the strength to your offense besides, obviously, number two? Yeah. Well, Grace Hastings, our setter, honestly, she really does a nice job running the offense and looking across the net to see what she's got and using the hitters that are going to be most effective on any given play. She looked like she was a pretty – she had a good service night tonight, she too. Did. Has that been a She's standard for this She's a strong server. Series? Yes, she is. Yep. Now, also a situation where the opposition served at her a couple of times. So, in that situation, if they take the setter out, what happens when you're out of system? We've worked really hard at out-of-system plays, and I think the girls know whose ball it is if the setter takes the first ball. We're pretty good at that. Who would be the <laughs> next uh, player you up, know, so to speak? Most teams use their left back or their yeah. libero to take that ball, too. Um, it just kind of depends. All of the girls have good hands, and so we trust each other. They play well together. They gel. Communication becomes crucial in that situation too, doesn't it? I mean, if your setter's got to run 15, 20 feet and sometimes doesn't have a good look at the floor, they're relying on calls from the rest of their teammates, aren't Absolutely, they? Absolutely, yes. Walk us uh, through the importance of communication. Yeah, so Grace has, Grace has every second ball, and we know that, but when she's running and sprinting, she does a nice job of calling for help, and she repeatedly calls help, help, help. You know, <laughs> Do they always listen? Not necessarily, but uh, we're getting better at that. Well, and again, just use generic terminology here, but thinking, again, watching other teams, they're expecting their outside hitters to yell, flare loop, whatever the, the word is to let the setter know, okay, this is where I'm going to put it, now it's up to you to track it down. Yeah. Can you do that at this level, depending, I guess, on the volleyball yeah. IQ of your team? Absolutely. I think what's crucial in running any kind of special plays with hitters, obviously, is that first pass. And so we spent a lot of time starting in the summer just working on serve receive. You've got to pass to be able to do anything else. And if you can't pass, you're, you're not going to be effective. First touch just makes a world of difference it, it as to whether you're yep. in system or not, right? And those free balls coming over easy, you really have to be able to run specials with those. 
So walk us through this. And again, I know at the prep level, it's a little different than the college level. But at the same time, if you get a good first touch, sure. if the offense is running on all cylinders, percentage-wise, how often would you expect to be in system? Um, our serve receive is actually pretty strong this year. So, I mean, I don't know what percentage, but I would say most of the time. Six out of ten? Yeah, seven out of ten? Seven out of ten, I would say, for That's sure. That's pretty good, especially good. at the high school level. It's much better than it was last year. <laughs> <laughs> I say that. So, so was there a challenge by the coaching staff made <laughs> well, in that area? Again, it's just a focus shift, you know. We really spend a lot of time, like I said, open gyms and summer ball and camps. And if you can't master serve and serve receive, you, don't, you might as well not be playing volleyball. Well, your team has done just that, <laughs> and not only all season long, but congratulations on a big win against Stryker. We will be there on Monday. Right. Looking forward to covering your program. Thanks okay, for thank coming you. up and joining no us. No problem. We're going to take a quick time out as Ayersville is looking for the sweep. They're up 12-6 here in set number three. A Mark Motes Ford timeout serving the Defiance area since 1916, located on County Road 424 and online at markmotesford.com. Coach says she's going to be getting a Cadillac herself. Absolutely. From Mark Motes Ford, the minute we're done. Quick time out. Back with more after this on DCTV Sports. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Stretty Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. Kendra Waldron getting set to put a fist into it with Ayersville up 12-6 here in set number three and two sets to love looking to finish this one off in straight sets. Eldridge will set Beecher. Nice cross-court angle. Tough cut shot. And twisting that wrist inside out and getting the angle on it. And now here's what you might call the crossroads in this set if you are north central. You're going to fold. You're going to fight to get back into it. As Waldron, so intense. Absolutely love this kid's intensity. The look on her face after that service error says it all. Bumped up. Out of system, and it showed. Well, just as I said, if you are North Central, you're going to fight to get back into this one, and they've rolled off two straight. Still down by five. Mallory Groves will put a fist into it. Eldridge, this has come from about the 10-foot line. Not quite in that high-percentage hitting zone area, but... Again, a gift as Ayersville will send Sierra back to serve. Inching closer to earning their trip to Archbold next Monday. Good deep serve. Tough first touch as Myers dumped it over. Flory coming near side. Hickman just taps it over. They'll set far pin. Flory, that might have been going out, but... Walker couldn't get out of the way. Now something in system. They'll run the slide play. Beecher's there, but the block is as well. We'll play on. Little mistiming. Zimmerman got a hand on it. Oh, that ball was close, but Sierra couldn't risk it. Off the slide play, Beecher with the dink. Unorthodox. Can somebody get into system? Far pin moving towards it. <laughs> Using a closed fist, Flory gets it over. Walker, oh, what an incredible up by Sierra. Best rally of the match so far tonight. Dumped over, finally terminated by Aldridge. Laker, Sierra checking to make sure everything is still attached where it's supposed to be. My goodness. Pays to be young and have extra oil in your joints. Cross court, ball tapped up and goes off both Eldridge and Beecher on the block. Walker will check back in for North Central. Zimmerman going to try and make a run with her team down by six. Sheets, that's sailing. Waldron, nice effort. Here comes Flory. 
Flory smiled, but kind of cocked her head sideways as if to say, all right, let's go. Let's finish this. Eldridge, who's had great success off her serve tonight. Oh, beautiful. Bottom just dropped out of it. They'll say Walker far pin. And it went at Eldridge, so the setter's out, and this will be a freebie. Cross court, Sierra's there. Flory. Just long. Anna Burt, 5'6 sophomore. When she's not setting, she's an outside hitter. Yes, at 5'6. She's got tremendous ups. Beecher. They're going to set, and nicely done as Riley Walker finishes. Well, Eagles hanging tough. They've pulled back to within a handful. Burt with that nice jump serve. Boy, that was deep. Flory. Set out of bounds off the block. It was not. Could not tell. I think Coach Tyler is asking if it was. Changing calls not forthcoming. All of a sudden, the Eagles back to within four. Sheets cross court. Zimmerman's been there as she has been most of the evening. Myers, Waldron on her heels. Flory will have to send over a freebie. Hickman, long. Ball sails <laughs> into the hallway. Random Beecher, excellent server at 97.4%. Trying to spare the Maalox moment for Coach Tyler. Put together a few points here. She starts with one as that one sails long. Short, nice job by Myers to get her platform out and she'll unload. Features there and Eldridge will have to send over a freebie. And they watch it almost fall to the middle of the court. Wow. So they got a gift. Now they gave it right back. Can the Pilots do something with it? Flory. No, they cannot. Hawker. Nice elevation. Strong hands. Whistle sounds. Hickman puts a fist into it. They'll set near pin. That's going to be a tough angle for Flory. And again, helter-skelter for North Central. Flory finally with the termination. Michael will check in. So your front row right now for Ayersville will be Clark, Zartman, and Michael. Flory goes up the far side. Walker, feathery touch, nice job. Sheets in for Zartman. Walker back to serve. Riley Walker. That sounded flat off of her fist. Sheets. Oh, wow, right into the number seven of Kenzie Hickman. Got honor in the blink of an eye. The southpaw Sheets spins the ball, pounces it a couple of times. Ooh, a collision by Cruz and Zimmerman in the back row. They're fortunate that they didn't. Well, we have a whistle here. The tower official and the floor official both got a little confused. Good communication, though, to straighten it out. Zimmerman got low, but it's going to be a little bit of a run here for Burt. Box there. 
Cruz bumps it up. Eldridge, Waldron. Just a bit long. Myers with that looping serve. Eldridge, they're going to run the quick set to Waldron and on the dink. Three points away now from punching their ticket to the next round. Boy, I thought that might have been sailing long, but again, if you're Zimmerman, you have any doubt, you got to play it. Off the slide play, and Michael fortunate there as Holstein has that go off the block. And Coach Walker wants a timeout. Her team two points away from packing up their gear until next season. We will take a Mark Motes Ford timeout. Back in 30 seconds, you're watching DCTV Sports. Twenty-three, fifteen, set number three. Ayersville up two sets to nothing. Kendra Waldron trying to serve it out. Good deep serve. In system off the quick set. Almost a collision. Long run for Sierra. Beecher, good communication. Myers sets Walker far pin. Great up by Eldridge. Waldron out of the back row. Can't terminate. Crews out, Hickman in. Groves back to serve for the Eagles. Goes up the far side, right at Sierra. She is rock solid. Beecher tries to go cross court. Myers with the dump, and again, the communication tonight, just uncharacteristic that we've seen probably four, five, maybe even a half a dozen times Pilot players not communicating and running right into each other. They do have some margin for error to play with, but if you're Coach Tyler, I'd like to finish this one off as soon as possible. Beecher says, I'll try to oblige. And again, the front row got caught standing and looking for the Eagles. Now seven match points. Stambon Jewelers match points. Visit them today and discover what they've been serving the community up since 1948. Sierra, high looping serve. Myers off the quick set. Walker tries to dink it over. Ayersville in system. Can Flory terminate? Yes, she can. There is your match. 25-11, 25-16. 25-17, Ayersville, the number four seed. Knocks off six seeded North Central. Chalk plays out as they will get a shot at number one seed Pettisville next Monday, six o'clock at Archbold. And we will be there. We're gonna take a quick timeout, a Mark Motes Ford timeout. When we come back, it'll be Time for our post game brought to you by Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Ayersville in three. We anticipate being joined by Coach Tyler. Stick around. You're watching DC TV Sports.
For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Discover affordable transfer opportunities at Northwest State. Start here and save thousands on tuition. Our advising team will help you get your credits transferred. So don't wait another minute. Get started today. We welcome you back to Pettisville High School Gymnasium. A little later than anticipated tonight as we're pushing 930. But better late than never, especially when you pick up the win. As the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show is now underway. Keep your eyes healthy for a long life of clear vision. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, your family's vision source, stadium drive in defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Pilots knock off the Eagles in three, 25-11, 25-16, and 25-17. They have earned the right to wear the jersey one more time as they will take on top-seeded Pettisville on Monday night in Archibald. Pettisville got a bit of a push this evening. They went four to eight-seeded striker, but got the job done when they needed to. And in looking again at just some cursory unofficial stats right now, uh, just kind of both teams went back and forth at each other. Never really able to make long runs. The longest run on Ayersville's service came to open up the match. Allison Eldridge opened up with four straight points. Other than that, it's just a matter of trying to stay in system. Make sure that you keep the pressure on. And extending points specifically is what Ayersville did. That was one thing that Coach Caitlin Walker said she did not want for North Central, and that was extended points. She wanted quick terminations. They wanted to get a good first touch, stay in system, and try and make things as quick as possible. And they just simply weren't able to do it for the most part this evening. The middle for Ayersville, strong as usual. Uh, Brooklyn Michael in particular. Addison Zartman, though, Kelsey Clark, and uh, even Kendra Waldron doing a good job of coming up and uh, making her presence known. Let me guess, it's going to be Brooklyn Michael. Yes. I'll tell you what, come around. Can you come around on that side? <laughs> She's going to come behind me anyway. No problem. All right. This feels fancy. Throw those on. Okay. I guess we'll start with you, and we'll just have Coach join us whenever she decides we're important enough to come on up here. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds good. Awesome. Oh, we're we getting two here. Fantastic. All right, so let's start with the team's mindset coming in okay. to tonight. Uh, you guys had a little extra time to practice after your your season finale. I had a chance to stop out and watch you guys uh, a couple nights ago. But where were you guys at as far as being loose but also staying focused? So we wanted to come in having fun. We knew we wanted to, we always play better when we have fun. And we wanted to get our serves in because serving's a big thing for us. So we practiced a lot getting our serves in. We were like, before we get a water break, you had to get two in. And I think that really <laughs> okay. helped us throughout this. 
So walk us through what you were working on last year into this year. As a junior this year, a sophomore last year, I mean, there were a couple of college-level talented players on that roster, the two Taylors in yes, particular. They were crazy. Congratulations. So I think they still are. I don't think they're, they've they're stopped insane. being. She, she used that in uh, past tense. Sorry, but they're still insane. <laughs> what, did the, uh, what did the coaches tell you they wanted your role to be this year as an upperclassman? So this year they just wanted me to do my thing. Last year I had to work on getting around the block and just doing my thing and getting like as much work in as I could on JV until like the end of the year where I got some varsity time. And then this year they just wanted me to take a step in and try to fill some roles. When did it start to be comfortable for you? The term is always, you almost always hear great athletes say, the game started to slow down. It wasn't so fast and your head wasn't spinning. When did the game start to slow down for you? Um, in my opinion, right away during the season, I've been okay. so comfortable with these girls since I was like young. We played together since seventh grade, so I knew, I knew everyone. I felt comfortable with everyone, and we all just wanted the best for each other. You came into this one at 152 kills, but 61 blocks. <laughs> she is the solid wall of granite right here. Walk us through what makes a good block. So I just try to get down and ready at all points and then just get up as quick as I can and press. And that's really Where do your eyes take you? Do you cheat? Do you lead? Does somebody so tip? So I always treat, um, sorry, cheat to the outside as much as I can until, like, on OG there was a great right side, and here there were great right sides. So that's when I really have to stay grounded and stay in the middle until I know where the ball is going. So you're watching the setter for a tip? Yes, and usually we always do ball setter, ball hitter. Okay. And those drills have always helped me so much. So, so you've won tonight. Now you draw the prize, top-seeded Pettisville. Yes. What's, uh, what's the mindset going to be? Does it really change at all over the next three days? So our last game we lost to Pettisville, but we can't let that get in our head mm -hmm. because we had a rough game that night. So we just want to clear our heads, go in with a strong mindset, have that positivity, and whatever we do, don't let our energy go down because that right. is our most important part. Congratulations. Enjoy thank it you. for tonight on the bus ride home, and we will oh, be there cool. on Monday at Archibald. Good luck to okay. you. Okay, thank you. Brooklyn Michael joining us. We're going to take a quick time out. We're back with more of the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. Don't you go anywhere. You're watching DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. And we welcome you back to the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. We put a nice big blue and gold bow on it. Those are the school colors, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's pull that mic just a little bit closer to you. Coach Tyler coming up to join us. Three sets to nothing. Big win. Walk us through where this team was. I had a chance to stop out and watch practice, obviously, a couple of days ago. And they're loose by nature is what it really seems like. But oh, at yeah. the same time, as Brooklyn was saying, they know when to focus. Mm -hmm. Walk us through where this team was, especially when you have to wait a, almost an extra hour from when you thought you were scheduled to play to all of a sudden 45 minutes later since that first match ran long. What did you do or did you need to do anything to keep them focused? I feel like they were very ready to play um, all the week leading up to it. They were ready to play. They knew they obviously have fun while doing it as well, but they were focused. They knew what they had to do. When we got on the court, I could tell. When we were doing our warm-up, I could tell that they were determined. They were ready to play tonight. <laughs> what impressed you the most about your team's performance tonight? Basically, I feel like just their togetherness, that they always, they don't always connect as well as they did tonight. Their togetherness, teamwork really helped them a lot. And you could tell we had everyone hitting, we had everyone playing defense all the time. That togetherness really helped us. How much were you in system tonight? Because there were a lot of crazy rallies. Oh, yeah. Um, there was lots of craziness, but I would say, 
quite a bit because even if maybe the ball was here, there, everywhere, we were still able to get a pretty solid swing anywhere on the court with it. And it was here, there, and <laughs> everywhere. You had talked about this during your pregame, though, and there were more than a handful of times where uh, Allison Eldridge was taken out of the play, but Michaela Laker Sierra and the rest of the team stood up and, and handled that second ball very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we constantly work on that out of system, having our middle back take it, and we have definitely excelled on that tonight. All right, you draw the prize now. Top seeded Pettisville, why not Ayersville? You had a chance to watch them break them down for us. They're going to be tough. They can swing. They definitely can swing. They are scrappy, all-around great team. So it'll be t a tough game, but I'm excited to see what we can do and what we can accomplish with it. 6 o'clock, Monday night at Archibald. We will be there, Coach. Best of luck to you. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. We are not actually going to take a break here. We're going to go ahead and take care of our BSN Player of the Game Award. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a DCT Sports Player of the Game T-shirt. We know how valuable these are. I mean, this stuff goes for, like, the kind of scratch you cannot possibly imagine on eBay. Uh, courtesy of BSN Sports. I thought you might smile at that <laughs> one. The uh, office apparel provider of DCTV Sports. Uh, let's go with Brooklyn Michael tonight. Good choice in your opinion? Oh, yeah. Brooklyn Michael, Definitely. the 5'11 junior, again came into this one with 152 kills, 61 blocks. She was probably close to double-digit blocks tonight. She mm -hmm. had a five-plus at least, so congratulations going out to her. That's going to do it for our broadcast here this evening. Big thank you going out to our staff making the uh, long ride here to Pettisville. Big thank you going out to our underwriters helping make the broadcast a possibility. Folks, if you enjoy these broadcasts, please patronize those businesses, walk through the doors, spend a little money, and let them know as you leave, maybe before you leave, how much you appreciate them helping support us in what we do. Big thank you also going out to you, the fam, for tuning in again this evening. For everybody on our crew, I'm Brent Balbinot. Final score again tonight, Ayersville sweeps North Central 25-11. 25-16, 25-17. They advance to the next round against top-seeded Pettisville on Monday night. You've been watching a sports presentation of DCTV.